Begay. I'm Paul Begay, ASC Systems Designer. So we're back here with our hobby scale aquaponic system, and we're at the hurry up and wait stage because we've got everything set up. We've got our seeds started, but we can't stock any fish because our bio clarifier is not ready to recirculate the water and to keep the fish healthy. Why is that? The bacteria that we need for the very important job of converting ammonia and nitrite to nitrate are not present in a high enough number on these beads to do the job. So what we say is we're in the acclimation stage of this filter. All of our bead filters are classified as bioclarifiers, meaning they're going to take the solid waste out of a system like this, but they're also going to provide surface area for bacteria. And those bacteria are going to be converting ammonia and nitrite to nitrate, the usable form of nitrogen for hydroponic plants. So what we're doing now is we're going to try to decrease the acclimation time by adding a few things to the water, all right? The acclimation for a biofilter is normally maybe four, five, even six weeks, depending on a couple of factors. But what we're going to do is we're going to decrease that acclimation time by adding a few chemicals uh, and maintaining very specific water quality so that the bacteria that are on the beads from here up, bacteria want to multiply, want to find their new homes on these beads, and then we want to make sure that they've got enough feed to continue to multiply so that eventually we'll be able to put some fish in there, some live animals, and start to throw feed in. So let's take a look at the filter, and we're going to have to imagine right now, but refer to other videos where the bead bed is, and then think about these beads and how they are actually providing that surface area for the bacteria. Bacteria are ammonia oxidizing bacteria and nitrite oxidizing bacteria, all right? Very, very important that they're in a very high uh, number, very high presence. We're adding sodium nitrite, and the reason we're doing that is so that we can have enough ammonia and nitrite uh, in a high enough presence so that these bacteria have food, all right? It's very important that we feed them, all right? So we want to maintain uh, a total ammonia nitrogen, T-A-N, of around one milligram per liter, all right? So we're going to do that throughout the acclimation period, all right? The second thing that we're doing is we are raising the pH just a little bit. Now that pH, we want to have between 7.5 and 8. So if we can keep that pH close to 8, um, that's really good uh, conditions for our bacteria. The last thing that we're doing is we're adding um, a bicarbonate, right? So sodium bicarbonate. Some people use potassium bicarbonate. But what that's doing is that's raising the alkalinity, all right? And we want to maintain an alkalinity of around 150 milligrams per liter, okay? Under those conditions, the bacteria on the beads will really thrive. So we can maybe cut the acclimation time from four to five weeks, maybe down to two to three weeks, all right? Now, if you're on a deadline and you need to get fish inside of your system, this is one very good way to decrease your acclimation time. Don't stock fish before the filter is acclimated if you want to keep them alive. All right? Stay tuned for more videos on acclimation to come. Thanks so much.